This morning, I'm going to be sharing with us where the Lord laid on my heart overnight. And uh, it is titled, Your Position in Christ. Your Position in Christ. Your Position in Christ. And the Lord made me to understand something that the enemy will do everything he can to try to make you see yourself outside Christ. Amen. The enemy will try everything he can to try to make you see yourself outside Christ. Why? Because he knows that outside Christ, you are nothing. Whenever an enemy is about to attack, what he does is that he draws his enemy or his prey to the weak zone. It draws him or her to the place where he or she is weak and cannot fight. And the Lord said, I shall remind you. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1. I shall remind you of your very source. Because whenever you want to kill Anything that has life, all you need to do is to disconnect him or her or whatever it is, maybe a plant or whatever, from the source. Disconnect the plant from the soil and the plant will die. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. Now. I want, I want us to look at a good place to start. A very good place to start. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm, 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 mm. Just hold on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Let's go to verse 22. Thank you. Or better still, verse 26 of Genesis chapter 1. Mm. I have taught this before, but please... Permit me to revisit this for the sake of the people that were not here or even the people that were here but have forgotten. Is it then God said, let us make man in our image and according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God said, let us make man in our likeness. And I described it this way. I said, you see, whenever you see things like this, can you see this? It looks beautiful, right? There's a system they call the caste system in molding or sculpturing where you have something that is like a mold and then you pour what liquid in it. Hmm? Maybe gold, it could be gold, it could be liquid iron, it could be liquid whatever. You put it on the inside of it, then when 
you allow it to cool down, it solidifies, then you remove the mold. And then it takes the exact shape of the mold. Are you getting what I'm trying to say this morning? So when God said, let us make man in our image. God was saying something there. He was saying, look, we will be the mold. We will be the structure. We will be the design. And man will be the product of the original image. Amen, that's right. Are you catching what I'm saying? If you go to any industry where things are manufactured, they always have what they call a prototype. They always have that which is what the original, the very first and if anything goes wrong with the first, everything will go wrong with everything that follows. So God is saying now, we are the image. We are the prototype. We are the very first. And that's why he's the alpha. That's why without him, there was nothing that was made. And the Bible says that Christ is the express image of the Father. And that's why Jesus told his disciples, if you are asking to see the Father and you're looking at me, then something is wrong. Because I am the physical image of the Father. Are you following me? Well, because the Father himself is invisible. If God appears to you, you saw Jesus. Because God is invisible. But Jesus is the express image of the invisible God. Christ is the image. Someone say Christ is the image. Christ is the image of the Father. If you have seen me, said Jesus, you have seen the Father. Amen. So Christ is what? The image of the Father. And now the Father said, you were made in the image. You didn't, get, you didn't catch it. You were made in the image. And if the image is Christ, that means you were made in Christ. That's right. Amen. Are you catching what I'm saying? Are you catching what I'm saying? Amen. So the first Adam was made in Christ. Amen. You know, the name Jesus we didn't know him as Jesus in the Old Testament. But first John revealed to us, he said, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word is Jesus. Are, are, you, are you following me? Because this is very important for, I mean, if you don't get this, you can't get whatever I'm, I'm about to say. Amen. So you were made in Christ. You were made in the image of God, which is Christ. Now, let's, go, let's, let's look at something. If you have your Bible, because I want us to read. I tried not to get too excited to just preach. I tried my best to teach. Amen. So that we can understand. Let's look at the book of Acts chapter 17, verse 28. Acts 17, 28. Act 17, 28. Because of time, I might rush. Please try and catch up with me. Act 17, 28. It says, for in him we live 
and move and have our being. Can, 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 you, can, you, can you connect that with what we just talked about? That we were made in him. Because he is the image. Uh, hallelujah. So we're made in him and still we are in him for it is in him that we live. Uh, okay, I'll explain. Because I used to quote it myself. In, in, in him we live and move and have our being. <laughs> so what the Bible is telling you is that if it is in him we 